How to smooth skin in Lightroom so that it looks beautiful yet realistic. One of the most common mistakes that photographers make is they smooth the skin to the point that the person looks like a plastic Barbie doll. In this Lightroom tutorial, I'm going to show you how I smooth skin to get a beautiful professional look, but the person still looks like a person and not a plastic toy. Okay, here we have our model who already has very nice skin, but we still want to give it a nice smooth professional look. And to do that, we're going to be using the adjustment brush. Now before I get started, I will point out that if you click right here, you will find a skin softening preset. And a lot of people on YouTube will tell you to use this. However, I don't because no two images are alike. And basically all of these presets are a complete waste of time in my opinion. I do everything manually right here because I find the results to be more professional. And these default presets honestly don't save me any time. Before we do anything, I want to set my brush to a decent size that will let me cover all of her skin quickly, and I want a fairly large feather on it because I don't want a harsh edge where I'm painting. Uh, we want this to look soft and natural, so we use a big soft brush. Okay, we're going to use a couple of these sliders, but the first one is going to be the clarity. The more you slide it to the left, the smoother the skin gets. Now we don't know exactly how far to slide it until we see what it looks like. So we'll just pick a random point about halfway down and start brushing it on. Now if you're having trouble telling where you've already brushed, you can come down here and turn on the overlay to help you be more accurate. I'm just going to brush all over the skin while avoiding the eyes and the lips. The goal is to smooth the skin, not her eyes or her lips or the eyebrows just the skin. All right, we're going to turn the overlay off and fine tune the clarity just a bit. Now, if you turn this all the way down, that's where you begin to get that fake plastic doll look. The more you turn it down, the more details you lose in the face. So just gently wiggle the slider back and forth while watching the details in her face until you find that sweet spot where the skin looks smooth, but you still have an acceptable amount of detail in the edges of features uh, such as the bridge of her nose. So you'll notice that as you smooth the skin, it does become a little flat and dull. Uh, we want to punch that up just a bit while still looking natural. And I do this by bringing the highlights up just a little bit. You don't want to go too far with this or else the image will start looking fake because the skin will be much brighter than everything around it and it, the, the lighting doesn't look natural. So you just want to do this just a little bit. Okay, so now the skin looks smooth yet natural. But there's still something that we can do to make the skin appear smoother and I'm actually going to do this without modifying her skin at all. Now I know this sounds kind of weird so let me explain. What I'm talking about is creating contrasting elements in the photo. Now I can show you a blue square and you might think yeah that's pretty blue but then I place an even more saturated blue against that and the first blue suddenly doesn't look as blue as it did before. And that's because we now have a contrasting element in the scene that allows us to compare the two colors. So to emphasize the feeling of smoothness in her face, I'm going to do the opposite and make everything around it just a little bit sharper. This includes her hair and the fur on her coat. Another thing I like to do is add um, another adjustment to the lips and give them just a bit of clarity. And we'll also do the eyes real quick and lift the shadows to help them pop. Now once you've created this contrast against the skin, you might realize that you really didn't need to soften it as much as you did in the first place. Um, and we want to keep as many details as possible and avoid that plastic look. So we can actually go back to the skin adjustment by clicking here and then back that off just a little bit. All right, that's how I smooth skin in Lightroom. So like this video if you like it, and I will see you in the next one.